How's it going guys, I'm Lemon here, and this week I was planning on doing a commentary for The Uncredibles, and I actually began recording it, but I realized that I didn't have that much to say. So instead, here's something more interesting. I'm posting this mini discussion slash rant, whatever, and um, I'll probably do more of these throughout the summer. So today's topic, why I lost interest in YTPMBs. Now, first things first. I'm not good at YTPMPs. Rather, I'm quite shitty at them. Um, I do not... I don't have a musical bone in my body, but I do maintain the viewpoint that you do not have to be a chef to judge if food tastes good. In other words, I'm going to be judging YTPMPs in this video without being skilled at the craft myself. And I should also mention that these are my opinions, and I'll be speaking quite subjectively about the topic don't have to agree with me, I'm merely offering an alternative perspective on the issue. Now that that's out of the way, here are my thoughts on the current state of YTPMV. Now, there was a time not too long ago in 2011 when I really enjoyed watching YTPMV. Heck, I enjoyed watching them as much as you do poop. But over the years, I've all but lost interest in the medium, and I began to ask myself why. Why don't I like YTPMVs anymore? At first I examined what made me like YTPMVs in the first place. I'll go back to one of the most highly praised YTPMVs of all time, Big Beat Mario, uploaded way back in 2009 by SkyGuy16, now known as Triple S. It's still one of the best YTPMVs out there to this day. So what makes it so good? Maybe it's the synthesis of such a catchy tune from such basic elements. Maybe it's the fact that Triple S accomplished this without any pitch shifting. Maybe it's the video's ability to retain aspects from the original source despite having a transformative nature. All of these are valid reasons for why Big B Mario kicks ass. But so what sets it apart from modern day YTPMV? Well first of all, Big B Mario is 100% original. For some reason, after 2009, there was a huge shift in YTPMVs from original compositions to matching certain bits of chiptune music. The same bits of chiptune music. You know the ones I'm talking about. Rainbow Tile and all, you and Owen was her, etc. And over the years, this has basically become the standard for YTPMV. 95% of modern YTPMV are based on the same 40 or 50 songs, and this is one of the major reasons why I lost interest. You can only watch YTPMV for so long before you get sick of hearing those same 40 to 50 songs. The main problem is that YTPMVs have lost their novelty for me. It is quite difficult to enjoy something when listening to it for the hundredth time. For me, it doesn't matter if the source is JonTron or MLP, it's still the same old song that I've heard a hundred times already. It's gotten to the point where YTPMV sources are practically interchangeable. Don't believe me? Watch this. <laughs> Are you seeing this shit? The YTPMVs in each set are basically the same exact video with swap sources. And that brings me to my main gripe with modern day YTPMV. It all feels the same. There's a shocking lack of diversity in modern day YTPMV. Along with the same old songs I just mentioned, they look the same too. I constantly see the same screen flipping and Sony Vegas cookie cutter effects. The only YTPMV -er that I know of who actually gets creative with their visuals is Mo Tendu. But even he reflects more problems with modern day YTPMV. So many YTPMVers pride themselves on making their videos sound as close to the source as possible. Does anybody besides me realize how absurd this is? If I wanted to listen to the original music, then I just listen to the original fucking music! Let's take a step back for a second and look at YouTube poops. The goal of YTPs is to alter the source material. It is baffling that the goal of the majority of YTP and Veers has become the polar opposite of that. And these YTP and Veers are extremely judgmental over one another. There are many who harshly criticize new YTP and Veers just because their content doesn't resemble the polished archetype that comprises 95% of modern YTP and V. It creates a snobbish and toxic community that is hell-bent against deviating from the norm. This is why modern YTP and Vs are so homogenous. This is why modern YTPMVs are so sterile, and this is why I don't really watch them anymore. <sighs> On a lighter note, I did see a video the other day that gave me some hope. I have a dick like a horse and an unquenchable thirst, but I take doctor's medicine so I don't come first. I do my commercials 
I wanna get paid. My ads get mid rich. My dick gets mid late. Now I know what you're thinking. This isn't a YTPMV. Is it not? It's a YouTube poop and a music video. And it's fucking phenomenal. I know the conception of modern YTPMVs may have been ground into your brain, so try to think more abstractly for a second. I found this video extremely enjoyable. Much more enjoyable than any prototypical YTPMV from the past three years. There's no screen flipping, there's no pitch shifting, the audio doesn't sound exactly like the original song. I want to see more YTPMVs like this, and they don't have to be exactly like this. Just do something different. YouTube poop has become extremely diverse over the past three years. It's almost unbelievable. We have simple styles, complex styles. We have poopers who make sex joke extravaganzas, cinematic masterpieces, and acid trip emulators, all of which are equally valid. I don't see why the same type of diversity cannot also happen with YTPMV. And don't get me wrong, I want to like YTPMVs again. But unless there's a major change from the current monotony, I'll stick to rewatching Big Beat Mario. This has been Emperor Lemon, and thanks for joining me on Consider the Following.